Hello, in this video assessment problem, I will be covering critical points and points of inflection using calculus. For this specific problem, we are given f prime of x and need to draw f of x. The problem that is given here says, the derivative of a continuous function f is given. On a copy of the paper, sketch the graph of the parent function y equals f of x in the indicated domain subject to the given initial condition, with the initial condition being f of 1 equals 3 and the domain is 1 to 9. First, let's set up some tables for the relationships of f prime of x and f of x, as well as f double prime of x and f of x. This will help point out any key features that will be on the parent graph. I have also marked already on the table where all the endpoints are that are on the f prime of x graph that has been given to us. Because of how I like to work, I'm going to start with f double prime of x. So we will look at the rate of change of that given graph. Here we see from 1 to 4 the rate of change is a constant 0, which indicates f of x is flat from this interval. From 4 to 7 we see a rate of change of negative 1. The negative indicates a concave down curve for this range of data on the parent function. And from 6 to 9 we see another rate of change of 0, so f of x is flat at th that interval too. Now for f prime of x we see that from 1 to 4 there is a constant negative 2 value, indicating that f of x has a negative slope of 2. From 4 to 7, the slope starts off positive, then hits a max or a minimum at 6, then is negative. And from 7 to 9, f of x is a positive 1 slope. Now we can draw the graph following the trends we discovered in the tables. Although the base point of the function starts at y equals 3, since it's been given to us that f of 1 equals 3. Now we draw a line with a slope of negative 2 for the interval of x 1 to 4, then a concave down parabola with a max at 6, and then the line with slope of positive 1 until we reach x, x equals 9. And from all that information we have discovered what the parent graph of the original function looks like, being only given f prime of x graphs. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll talk to you guys later.